can't even get it out of here. Look at that. From Ham Radio Outlet. I wonder what that could be. like a new belt holder. Roughly, almost exactly the same size. Well guys, it is Wednesday and um, hey, it's time to look at the FT5. The first look at the FT5 just got here God, just a few minutes ago, uh, unboxed it, set the lights up, and uh, started rolling some tape here or some uh, electrons. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's uh, let's kind of get into the FT5. As you guys can see, uh, these radios are damn near identical in size. Um, as far as the front display, the things that pop out to me are number one, the way that the uh, uh, the way that the illumination is. These are uh, these are nicely illuminated on the FT3, the FT5, the uh, keypad illumination is uh, it's much uh, much brighter much easier to see first thing you're going to notice uh, on the back of the ft3 and the back of the ft5 the batteries are exactly alike as a matter of fact the battery that came with the ft5 is currently on the charger and they all work together this is an extra battery that i got i took the uh Took the clip off. Yesu sent me two clips here, or I got an extra clip. I got an orange belt clip and the uh, and the standard black belt clip. I decided to put the orange one together. Now looking at them from the top, I'm going to show you why the belt clip isn't going to fit uh, from one to the other. I have my safety orange belt clip here and i'm kind of digging this thing uh it does fit onto the ft5 very very nicely and it locks in and the reason it locks in on the ft5 is it is able to uh, lock in over this little lip right here really super secure Now, some of you guys might be asking, Bob, why did you put that ugly orange uh, belt clip together? Because, guys, if you're operating this thing in the field, well, or like I am in the field, and you drop it, say in a thicket of bushes, and you're hunting, um, it would be kind of nice to be able to see it. If it's all black or camouflage, it blends in. That's the point of camouflage in black. It blends in. But this nice bright safety orange isn't going to blend in. It's going to uh, show me where it is. Now, getting back. Oop, we got <clears throat> we to switch batteries here on the FT3. I'm going to put my brand spanking new battery on the FT3 and I'm going to show you why it won't uh, why it won't lock in the FT3 has this lip up here but it doesn't have 
the lip that allows that to lock in. Looking at the front of both of these radios, you're going to notice uh, the FT3 had this much raised up uh, deal here for the GPS. This is the housing for the GPS. The FT5, uh, that is almost flush against the body of the radio. So it's uh, very much, uh, very much smaller, more streamlined. All right, now the biggest uh, bitch that I heard from other guys that owned or had bought the FT3 and uh, some of them kept it, some of them didn't, was the speaker. Now, physically, it looks like the speaker is about the same size in here. I think it might be a skosh, uh, a skosh wider. We're going to put both of these on the weather radio so you guys can hear exactly what the difference is. Volume is set at about the same level on both of them. All right, weather radio. I'll turn it up. I'll turn it up to about three quarter. Full volume. Three quarter volume. Half. and back down to my normal listening volume in the house, uh, about a quarter volume. Okay, and let's... Uh, FT5, quarter volume. Half volume. Three quarter volume. Additional weather information. Full volume. Half. Back down to my normal listening volume. Here we go. Both of them on. Now. One of the things that I think is really, really interesting, or very cool, all right, here I come on uh, the B band on both of them. Over here on the FT3, you can see that uh, there's one light and it'll, it moves to blue, kind of a aqua blue actually, it's uh, it goes to it goes from green when uh, when the A band or the FM band is engaged on both of them. The FT5 adds a second light over here, a nice blue light indicating I've got an FM station. I have a digital station over here. It uh, just kind of got a little bit more aqua. <clears throat> All right, so now both of those are uh, are blanked out, and we'll take a take a quick listen here to um, digital. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear this real well, but we'll see. Uh, let's see, let me turn, we'll do the FT3 first. Okay, here is the FT3 only at about my normal listening volume. I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to turn it up to about half volume. 
So now this is the FT3 at half volume. All right. Now this is the FT5 at the same half volume. And here is the FT5 at full volume. Here is the FT3 at half volume. And here is the FT... Oof, that's bad. And here is the FT3 at full volume. That was kind of uh, unbearable there. Our friend feedback. So, half volume. Half volume on the uh, FT5 and the FT3. And let's just see if I can, uh, yeah. All right, half volume FT5, half volume FT3. Now here's something that's very interesting um, when you're doing a VFO scan on the FT5. Number one, two lights. The green light's blinking over here. And if I key up, both of them are going. I do like the dual, uh, the dual receive lights. So I've got something coming in on the, uh, on the bottom channel on FM. And if I key up, I get both uh, the blue and the green lights on simultaneously because it is receiving both signals simultaneously. So one of the biggest design differences besides the uh, the layout of the front buttons and how they work between the FT3 and the FT5 uh, is up here. This is uh, the GPS antenna buried in here. It is much more pronounced on the FT3. It gives you a lot less room to put uh, different types of antennas on here. The FT5, on the other hand, um, well, it still is a little bit raised right there for the GPS antenna. It does give you quite a bit more room. Uh, you know what? Actually, all right, so there's no guard on this side on the FT3. On this side, I'm now noticing this, uh, I guess, guard or something. That's that's still going to keep you from putting on uh, a um, some of the other antennas. Now, I am running these Nagoya antennas on both of these. This is the Nagoya NA701. And I'm running it on both of these radios. So I'm not running the stock antenna on any of my radios. All right, so you can see on both of these radios, and I'm going to turn these down quite a bit here. So on both of these radios, they both have the scan feature. Um, the FT3 is that traditional. It's running through all of these. Well, these are on memories, so that's scanning memories. So let's stop, we'll go to the VFO, and now it's just running through and scanning the VFO. Go to a single VFO over here, I'll stop that, go to a single VFO here, and then we'll go back. Here's another big difference here is uh, short press brings you into that soft menu. I can hit scan. Now it'll scan uh, here on the screen, soft menu, scan. Now, here's another difference. On the FT5, 
you can have a green light or a blue light on either side depending upon what kind of a signal you're getting on uh, the ft3 you're going to get a blue light up here on the top band or the top vfo and a green light on the bottom vfo now i kind of like seeing where this thing is is going here so i'm not exactly sure i like this uh where it just says vfo scan uh, i guess it's it's helpful to see that it's scanning but i kind of like to see where it's scanning so i don't know if that can be changed uh, in software all right moving to the side of both of these uh, radios orange uh, it doesn't bother me. The functions are exactly the same between the two of them. Flipping them over to the other side, um, things are just slightly different. You've got your micro SD and your data over here on the top, and that is a separate uh, cover from the bottom. Here on the FT5, uh, you've got your speaker mic is on top, your data port, the micro SD, and your DCN. Here you've got your speaker mic and your uh, DCN. I don't know, uh, you know, I'm thinking uh, one cover with a screw, with a single screw, versus two separate covers with two screws they probably saved a few pennies by doing it this way and I don't know if the layout will do anything so one of the things that I like to do and here's one of the big differences in the layout of the buttons between the two of these um, I do like to look at the compass and here to get to the compass two different ways it's the same uh, the same thing but it's uh, it's two different ways of doing it over here on the FT3 you uh, light touch or single touch of the display button here um, on the FT5 it's a uh, F menu and display is listed here in the soft menu where on the FT3 the soft menu is accessed from the screen from a screen touch okay guys thanks for joining me I know this was uh, this was a rough video not much editing uh, maybe a little painful to look at I don't know but uh, I hope I I hope I could answer just a few of the questions remember I'm gonna be back with the FT3 and the FT5, uh, I will do a real good head-to-head, -head, polished up kind of a video. And, uh, you know, I'll work on it some more. But, hey, thing just got in my hands. I wanted to get this out to you as soon as I could. So, um, thanks for joining me. I will talk to you guys soon. I'm Bob K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3.